Welcome back. If you're looking for a new reason to head outdoors, our Marcus Krakova got a first-hand look at one way people are striking it rich through gold panning right here in Colorado. Colorado's gold history dates back more than 150 years, but the methods and traditions of discovering earthly ores are alive and well in our state today, many of which are taking place in our most unsuspecting grounds and waters. We want to see a little bit of gold? Gold is, is nice, it's desirable. Pretty. You don't have to be crazy to want to spend time searching for gold, just properly motivated. A lot of it is just the Zen experience of doing something physical that requires your mental focus. I mean, what's bad about standing up to your knees in a river somewhere? Nothing. So it's good for the soul. Who wants to work inside an office building, you know? Most cases, it's so peaceful, quiet, you can actually think. The prospectors at Vicks Gold Panning in Blackhawk, Colorado just happen to call themselves crazy. And the gold fever at this year's Goldapalooza continues a long legacy of enabling people to discover their own wild gold. In uh, 1969, my dad was reading me as a little kid, was reading a story to me about gold prospecting in Colorado in National Geographic magazine, and it talked about Vic's gold panning. It started in 1957. Old Vic came out here and started digging gold. We have a little tourist panning operation to regulate the people that want to know what's going on, and uh, they're taught how to pan gold or take a mine tour, and uh, we go back about working in the mine. Although you might expect to find competition, most gold panners are ready to share their bounty of knowledge. I was kind of complaining to my wife about how every website had the same three or four dig sites listed. In the end, that led to not just a website with a few dozen dig sites on it, but um, at some point the website gets awkward and you say, you know what, it's time to write a book. And for some, education is the true spoil of gold panning. I go out to help teach people. You accomplish something and you learn something new every day. For others, gold has a very practical application. Um, I, I save it all. So, um, I'm saving it for their college education, basically. So. My wife's wedding band that she wears now, it's not the original one, but it's made with gold for my 2013 prospecting season. No matter your reason, in Southern Colorado, Denver Metro, or the small town of Blackhawk, you can rest assured, adventure is just beneath your feet. Because it's exciting to be the one who figured out how to play hide and seek with Mother Nature and find what she hid. There it is right there. There's the Colorado gold. For the coordinates to Vic's gold panning, Goldapalooza, and how you can get involved, head over to KOAA.com and check out the News 5 Originals tab. Marcus Kakova, News 5.